Well, hello, Mike and Diane. So you want to learn about coffee pots. Okay, here we go. This new coffee pot I got is the Keurig Special Edition. I don't have a clue exactly what makes it special, uh, different from the base edition, but here we go. First thing you have to do is open it up, take out the old K cup, throw that in the garbage or someplace, grab a new one, I've chosen uh, Cafe Mocha today. I just pop it in the uh, receptacle there, close the top, grab a coffee cup, stand back, and press the blinking button different sizes, small, medium, and large. Uh, large is only about 10 ounces, so it's not a full big cup, it's just a 10 ounce cup. So I always punch large, because I want a big cup. Stand back for a second. Making some noise. Coffee's dripping out. And there you go, you have a uh, hot cup of coffee, hot cup of coffee. Now the uh, uh, little water tank inside recharges itself from the uh, water tank on the, this side and starts to heat up the water for the next cup. Now inside of about 30 seconds, uh, it fills the little water tank, heats up the water, and you're ready to brew another cup if you want. Just have to open it up. For your second cup, pull out the uh, K cup, insert, oop, insert the new K cup, push it down and punch one of the uh, blinking buttons for a different size and you could have another cup uh, right away. Now these K cups come in boxes of about 16 and they cost somewhere between 10 and up. Uh, cheaper at uh, discount stores. There's uh, hundreds of varieties of different kind of coffees you can get and um, I just got uh, regular Starbucks to try it out and um, it's really good. I generally uh, uh, grind my own beans every morning and uh, these cake cups make just as good a coffee as the uh, coffee I make all the time. The water reservoir is on the left side and holds about uh, 12 cups and you, uh, it tells you when it's empty because it has a blinking light at the bottom. Now you can take it off, it just uh, lifts up and the cover comes off and you can fill it at the sink or you can just take the cover off and pour in some water with the measuring cup. And uh, now we'll be ready to brew another cup. Now, as I said, the uh, cake cups cost about uh, 10 to $12 for uh, 16 of them or 70 cents an up piece. I prefer to uh, still grind my own coffee beans because it's cheaper. Uh, you can uh, put your own ground coffee in the uh, refillable basket for about 20 cents a cup. And since it's, you grind, I grind my own beans, it's basically the same coffee. Uh, but it's more convenient. So here's how that goes. So we're going to take the K cup out and then we have to take out the K cup holder which is real simple. Pops right out and then we get the uh, refillable basket which is uh, has a uh, holder, uh, the basket itself and the um, cover for that and then I'll just fill the basket. As I said, I like to grind my own coffee. I think the best coffee is a Caribou Mahogany. I have a small grinder here and uh, just put in a half cup of beans, grind it up, and then I put the uh, ground coffee every couple days into a little container 
and I'll fill the uh, cake up basket. Takes about uh, three teaspoons, two teaspoons and a quarter heaping. Yep, that's enough. Drop that into the holder. Drop that in the holder. Turn the top on real quick. Uh, and you take the newly filled uh, uh, refillable basket and pop it into the spot that the uh, regular cake cup basket goes. And uh, away you go, making your own coffee from your own coffee grounds. Okay, there we made uh, two cups of coffee in a couple of minutes, used the two different baskets. Now the inconvenient part of this system is if you use your own ground coffee, which you buy at the supermarket or grind your own beans, is now you have to clean out the uh, uh, refillable basket. So take that over to the sink, open it up, take out the refillable basket and uh, put that down, uh, coffee down the uh, drain and garbage disposal, rinse it out, rinse the top off, inside out, and you would be ready to uh, fill that refillable basket with your own ground coffee again. So that's the inconvenient part. Um, so there you got the uh, Kruig uh, K-Cup coffee machine. It's uh, very, very convenient for uh, having a cup of coffee once in a while. Um, it's a little more inconvenient if you have to refill the um, refillable basket because you have to wash it out each time, but uh, still it seems to work okay. I think there's only one viable alternative to these new machines. There, there is a coffee maker on the market that makes a whole pot and you fill the reservoir with beans and it might even be programmable to make a whole pot. Um, but I haven't seen one of those and I heard they were uh, sold them at Costco at one time. But the uh, machine is good. It seems to be high quality. And there you have it.